Greetings to you all. This is Sean Van Deveen back with another astrology video for you. It's so wonderful to see you again. This will be a continuation of my Pluto through the Zodiac sign series. And today I'm going to talk specifically about the Pluto and Cancer generation, born between 1914 and 1939. Those were the years Pluto last transited through the sign of the crab. And I'll say right off the bat that these natives have had it rough right from the very start. Nevertheless, they are perhaps the most tenacious of all the Pluto placements, as I will explain. The Pluto and Cancer generation has had to endure many calamities from a tender age. The First World War was only the first trauma, as the fathers of these newborns went off to fight for their country, while their mothers worked in factories for the war effort. Then came the Great Depression. Often these natives of small children had to put in hard work with only a few hours of sleep a day just to help them, the family make ends meet. And then, you guessed it, the start of World War II, which uh, forced many into military service. The Pluto and Cancer period can perhaps be summarized like this. Pluto and Cancer toddlers learned to be independent. As children, they were nurturers of parents. And as they became adults, they learned soldiery. This period would leave an indelible trauma upon them, leaving scars lasting a lifetime. To better understand Pluto in Cancer energy, we have to know what both the planet Pluto and the zodiac sign of Cancer represent. In astrology, Pluto is the planet of destruction, transformation, rebirth, regeneration, transmutation, death, the unconscious mind, secrets, occult knowledge, darkness, and the esoteric. It is personified by plutocrats, war, terrorism, nuclear weapons, atomic energy, and massive social upheaval. The zodiac sign of Cancer, on the other hand, is ruled by the moon. It is one of nurturing, caring, family structure, family values, the domestic sphere, parenthood, anything to do with the house, and identity of oneself to their creed, clan, or country. The Pluto and Cancer period galvanized patriotic fervor among the masses in all corners of the world. Citizens believed in something greater than themselves by fighting for their country. With the Pluto influence, nationalism and imperialism became the destructive forces, turning man against each other. The British Empire was already the world's largest, but the king wanted even more land. Imperial Germany had great ambitions, but were squashed with the armistice of 1918. The humiliating conditions of surrender outlined only caused more chaos, resulting in the rise of Adolf Hitler and the birth of the Nazi party. As individuals, Pluto and Cancer natives find their power in their family and relationships. They will staunchly protect their loved ones, even to the death. As parents, they will instill survival skills upon their children, because after all, they themselves had to endure many life or death struggles and tribulations while growing up. Pluto and Cancer natives are fanatical in defending their home, community, and country, who they consider one huge family. In more evolved types, they are kind and caring, but they're always on guard against anyone who tries to take advantage of them. Since they've also had to endure shortages of food during the Great Depression, they are traumatized by this and instill in their children a higher respect for the quality and quantity of food they eat. The energies of Pluto may make these people manip manipulative and controlling, but this is done unconsciously. It is important to note that it takes Pluto roughly 248 years to complete one orbit around the Sun. Therefore, its effects are generational. Pluto often spends many years, even decades, in a single zodiac sign. This is due to the elliptical orbit around the Sun and the fact that both planets are so far apart from each other. As in every video of Pluto that I make, I like to highlight major historical events respective to particular zodiac placements. 
I'll list one from each year from 1914 to 1939. The information I've collected was from wikipedia.org. Okay, so in 1914, the First World War starts after the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand. And in 1915, Pluto is photographed for the first time, but is not classified as a planet. And in 1916, Margaret Sanger opens the first U.S. birth control clinic. And in 1917, Canadian troops win the Battle of Vimy Ridge. And in 1918, World War I ends with Germany's surrender. And in 1919, the League of Nations is founded in Paris. And in 1920, prohibition in the United States begins. And in 1921, the Anglo-Irish Treaty is signed. And in 1922, in Washington, D.C., the Lincoln Memorial is dedicated. And in 1923, we have the uh, Beer Hall Putsch. Adolf Hitler leads the Nazis in an unsuccessful attempt to overthrow the German government. And in 1924, the company Mercedes-Benz is founded. And in 1925, Mount Rushmore is dedicated in South Dakota. And in 1926, the League of Nations Slavery Convention abolishes all types of slavery. And in 1927, Charles Lindbergh makes the first solo flight uh, from New York City to Paris. And in 1928, Amelia Earhart becomes the first woman to make a successful transatlantic flight. And in 1929, we have the Wall Street crash, kickstarting the Great Depression. And in 1930, all adult Turkish women are given the right to vote in elections. And in 1931, construction of the Empire State Building is completed in New York City. And in 1932, the, we have the Soviet famine of 1932 to 1933 beginning, as millions starved to death as a result of collectivization. And in 1933, Adolf Hitler becomes Chancellor of Germany. And in 1934, the, in Germany, the political power of federal states is substantially abolished. And in 1935, uh, U.S. President Roosevelt signs the Social Security Act into law. And in 1936, uh, Joseph Stalin's Great Purge begins. And in 1937, we have the Hindenburg disaster in the United States. And in 1938, we have the German ar army occupying Austria in Czechoslovakia. And in 1939, we have the start of World War II. So yes, a misguided patriotic chauvinism became evident during this Pluto in cancer period, with the rise of brutal dictators overemphasizing the might of their regimes. The stock market crash of 1929 was traumatic for most. When the COVID-19 pandemic became official in March of 2020. To me, it felt like the start of the Great Depression, with businesses closing and workers getting laid off. If you were affected, I send healing energy to you. Fortunately, the 1914 to 1939 years recognized women's suffrage and methods of food and vehicle production were revolutionized. Today, the oldest people in the world are from this era. And the experiences they've had are important lessons for all of us to live by. So, this has been my take on the natal Pluto in Cancer energy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment. And if you're new to my channel, why not subscribe? I have many other astrology videos for those who love to study the stars. So I'll close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. God bless you. Thank you for watching. And remember, you are strong, beautiful, courageous, and have the power within you to be an unstoppable force. Be safe and kind to one another. Godspeed.